Unfortunately, one of the biggest gaps of Russian society is the lack of national idea. For 74 years it has been the communism as the brightest future for all humanity. But now, unfortunately, there's a deficiency of this idea. We have built a certain American facade for this. And if you ask young Russian ladies, they will tell you, 75% of them actually, that their lifetime dream is to immigrate to America and marry young American chaps. So we have substituted Russian national dream with American national dream. That's my opinion. I think Russian people uh, think of increasing their level of life. So just to live better, I think it could be called Russian dream right now. Я ему сказал, вы знаете, Москва это не окно в Европу, это окно в Америку. I believe that Russian people are more cultured than American. Uh, Americans, I had an experience working in this American university with students. They know only uh, about their own country. They are not interested at all. When I ask them questions, they have no idea about St. Petersburg and even Russia, and they don't want to. I guess that Americans have won the Third World War. They were unable to do it military way, but they did it in ideological way. And they succeeded in showing us the brightest sides of mercantile society, so that we should be able to see foodstuffs in the supermarkets and coats and jackets and pantyhose in, in the stores. That, that's it. The Russian people are spiritual. It is the spiritual of the intelligent people. It's the term of the way of the life. Хотела бы видеть ухоженный и сохранивший вот то богатство, сумевший сохранить то самое богатство, которое мы получили от прежних поколений и создали сами. If you are living in the bad flat, for the most part of the Western people, it's the real life tragedy. But it's not the real life tragedy for the Russian people. They want to, to live in, in, in better conditions. But sometimes you can work around the center of, the, of St. Petersburg and see the, the hermitage. And the Russian people prefer to spend money for the, visiting the theater and have no money for everyday food. It's like a dream, like uh, something fantastic. Jag är född och vuxit upp i en uh, fällesläglighet. Det är en läglighet där det bodde fem familjer som inte var i släkt med varandra. Med fälles do, med fälles bad som så förlåt inte fungerade. Ett nydligt kök där fem damer som inte nätt upp var pärlvänner lagat osen och mat på osen med primuser och så vidare. Och min far som har varit professor vid universitetet har inte 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 stort mer än en den fördrukna arbetaren som bodde vägg och vägg med oss. Alla var faktiskt lika fattiga. Russian people are quite social people. The Western society is more oriented for the alone people, for alone men. Russian are more social people. And it's why they can live in the new conditions after perestroika, because most people are absolutely poor. But nothing changed, no revolution, no, no people with, with a machine gun on the streets. Everything okay, because the society works. It can be high level social life, very bad level social, but it's a social life. Jag huskar min nabo som kom som triumferande hem med en kilo pulser. För det var dagar då det inte var pulser i matvarubutiker. Alltså sådana små gläder hade man på den tiden. Vi är bleeding every day. And what is worst, we got used to it, because whenever we watch television, I say seven losses in Chechnya, 14 losses in Chechnya, every day we got used to it. We became very indifferent, very cold. 
Мне очень, пожалуй, очень трудно представить это, потому что мы как-то люди крайности больше. Понимаете, гулять так гулять, свобода так свобода, но без всяких границ. I think we'll have elements of European democracy and authoritarian rule. And my hope is that it will be nearer to democracy. Наш президент все больше сближается с руководством православной церкви и всемерно укрепляет политическую власть централизованную. И я не удивлюсь, если лет через десять он сделает то, что когда-то сделал Наполеон. Мистер Путин, конечно, очень тяжелый президент. И люди прощают это, потому что люди были устали от этой анархии и хаоса. 87% Leningraders, sorry, St. Petersburgers, yeah, this is inertia. If, they, if you ask them in the streets, are you against the death penalty or for death penalty? 87 people will tell you, yes, I'm for death penalty here in the cultural capital of Russia. And if you ask them in Novosibirsk, somewhere in Siberia, they will give you 100% answer. That's, that's reality. Uh, perestroika brought changes uh, to my life because I changed uh, my profession. I had no idea about public relations uh, seven years ago when we started the program, and now I teach it, and I think it's, it's something interesting. We often criticize Mr. Gorbachev, especially now. You know, Russians do not like political leaders who have gone already. But for me, Gorbachev was the only man who had the civil courage to say A, because in March 1986 he passed three laws, which were the milestones of Russian embryonic democratic society. For me, the Russia before the perestroika is like sitting in the prison, and I don't want to be rich but sitting in the prison. For me, better to be poor but free. Вот парадоксальная ситуация, которую у нас до сих пор никто не осмыслил, состоит в том, что после того, как покончено у нас было с тоталитарным режимом и началась свобода, когда каждый сегодня может писать и говорить и печатать все, что он хочет, искусство ни одного великого достижения не имело. I guess that what we are facing now is the nomenclature, the dictatorship of bureaucrats. We have a bureaucratic society from the very bottom to the very pinnacle because a lot of those people who are ruling country now, they have been brought up within the framework of the communist ideology from their very first steps in the kindergarten. I remember a little episode that I... Nå sa jeg til far, altså, det var de første pionierene, far, jeg er så glad i kamerat Stalin. Og så på meg sa, jeg er din idiot. Det husker jeg.